Let's play Effing Worms 2 on Congregate. Sort of a variant on one of those eat stuff and grow games. Developed by Effing Games, programmer Rob Graber, artist 3D Lee, sound Symphony of S Let's play a new game here. You eat stuff, you grow, and you profit. And this game is all controlled by the keyboard, but you have to use your mouse for certain stuff, like mostly menus. So it's not quite keyboard only. And I hate when stuff does that. It's like all the gameplay is frickin' using just the keyboard and then you introduce the mouse for no reason. Like mouse is a supplement, that's fine. But also if you haven't noticed, you can glide a little bit. Kind of makes this a lot easier than when I was just trying to thrust in and out of the ground. It works so well. Fun fact, the first time I tried to record this video, I had forgotten to select a, um, a codec to record with, and so it was recording uncompressed. And um, rather than try and compress that 31 gigabyte single file, I just decided, screw it, I'll record again. Um, I'm not sure if my last Camtasia recording did that on me or not, but I'm not quite set up to use my new PC quite yet. Though, I was wondering why the heck saving the file was taking so long, and especially for an SSD, but apparently it decided it needed to make a 31 gigabyte file. So, yeah. Not using uncompressed anymore. I was using DivX, that's what I use on my laptop, but uh, it was giving me some major lag. Uh, which is weird because the CPU usage wasn't at 100% for any of the cores. So, I don't know why it was lagging at all. But it was, so we are using Tech TechSmith's own Kodak here. We're gonna, I'm going to find out what's wrong with DivX later. As you can tell, this game is slightly easy. Um, I pretty much found the trick is you got to just go in a straight line on the ground, and you pretty much win. you got to avoid mines. But that's about it. And the evolution is really nice. Um, you want these blood bags. Those are freaking awesome. You're going to see why in a second here. The game is pretty quick, and um, you know there's a few good choices for different stuff you can do. Like you can make yourself nearly invincible and really big worm, but I prefer to be really fast and eat eat stuff. That's now killing. Planes are gonna be your main enemy here because those bombs. Oh my god, I'm dying. The bombs and mines really hurt. You can get the reduced mine damage, but we're going to set ourselves on fire instead because it's way more awesome. I prefer the build that makes you ridiculously good on Rampage. And uh, last time I made a mistake in my build, I picked something I didn't really like after trying it out. So we're going to rectify that mistake. The blood, the blood fangs, way worth it. Because our eating zone is like twice the range it was before. So look how fast we go through this stuff. We want shredder teeth. The mouth tentacles sound enticing, but um, in actuality, they don't help because as long as you're in a rampage, it doesn't matter anyway. And you're gonna be eating a lot of metal in the harder levels, and if you're not getting healed by it like this, you take a lot more, you, well, you die a lot faster, which is not cool. So I definitely recommend the current build I've got so far. You might want to go for the health instead of speed if you want to, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea, because I'm not sure if you can glide quite like this if you're slower. But you can also eat some flames for health, which is nice. Excellent. Now this one I'm just not sure about. 
The Mega Jump is really fun. I think Mega Vacuum is going to be more helpful for us, though. Oh, I love that sound effect. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we're already maxed out. But now we get Sandbox Mode. Oh, Space Activates the Vacuum. Last time you get an extra jump, basically, like, you get a pretty sweet jump. I prefer the Mega Jump to this vacuum, actually. It does not seem very good at all. The Mega Jump, you could go way up in the sky, and you could frickin... Like, you could go up and there's flying saucers you could eat. It's pretty awesome. This, not quite so awesome. I mean, it's just so hard to use. I figured it would be a constant effect. You know, suck stuff in. But with the Blood Fangs, this doesn't even do anything. So this is actually pretty lame. As you notice, we just keep growing as you eat stuff. Uh, the game's easiness kind of comes to light now. We just kind of run around. And go crazy. But you can keep growing and keep getting ridiculously freaking fast. Ridiculously freaking huge if you want. I'm not sure if I want to chastise it for its difficulty or not. It's still, it's, it's fun. But, you know, you'll get bored of the low difficulty miss, but it's definitely worth a play or two, just to see the, the different mutations are pretty fun. Though I prefer the all speed, big mouth, and the mega jump is definitely better than the stupid vacuum crap. Look at that, it's not even doing anything. Whatever. Should have gotten the vacuum. But live and learn. Or not the vacuum. But live and learn. Let's go into the sky. But yeah, being able to stay level like this due to gliding makes the game kind of ridiculously easy. Like, look at this. I think you can just keep growing until you're like the size of the screen. Or larger. Especially if you got the longer worm power up. My worm's actually shorter because I picked the speed because it's ridiculous. What we're gonna see is how high of a combo we can get. And then I'm gonna quit. Because there's not much to do left here. Aww. Let's see how big of dirt tracks you make. Pretty big. Well, this has been effing worms, too. Whee!